Um, the source of it is from Masechet Sofrim. Um, it's around, it's like a, it's like an external tractate of the Talmud. It seems to be from the eighth century or so. Um, and it, the language there says like this: When you take out the Torah, um, you you immediately um, wrap it up until three columns. You show those columns to the community, to the nation, to the people who are there, to your right and to your left, and then you put it in front of you and in back of you, because um, it's, it's a mitzvah for all the men and the women to see what's written and to bow down and to say, Vizota Torah and Torah Tashem Tamima. So that's the language. So it's, it's interesting. It's a little bit different than what's customarily done today. Um, in that uh, people, not everyone bows down to it, for instance. Some people will put up their finger or their tzitzis. We'll talk about that, I think, next time. Um, another thing is that it seems from the language here that you immediately show the Torah. That's what's done in Sephardic communities. When they take out the Torah from the Ark, they'll hold up the Torah, and they hold it differently than Ashkenazic communities They because their Torah is just different. It, it faces the community versus somebody who's holding up the Torah this way, um, they're all, you know, they're facing the other way. Um, so it seems like they, they show it before, even before the reading of the Torah. That seems, and that's, that's the language that's brought in the Shekharach, that's as Farting do. They take out the Torah, immediately they show it to the community, and then, uh, and then they'll go on with the reading. Ashkenazi communities, they'll do it after the reading. So the first question I want to ask is why before and why after? Uh, according, uh, before, because it's written, also the, the Kabbalah says that, like, that's the moment when a lot of light uh, it comes into the world, or so it's the emergence of this light. So when people have access to that at that moment, uh, the Ashkenazic custom is to do it after because people started to think <laughs> that um, seeing the Torah is the whole mitzvah, and so they would see the Torah and then they would like leave. Like we saw it, we did our part. So we want not just to show the Torah. So we 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 give a little bit. We read all the Torah and then we show it. Okay. So and that's why that custom evolved to show it after, even though Masechet Sofrim it says to show it before. Um, the one thing connected to showing, like, why do we show it? So there seems to be, Rav Asher Weiss um, talks about this, seems to be two reasons why we show the Torah. The Mesechet Sofrim doesn't say why. But in the, in the, the, the uh, Horonim, there's discussion around this. And he said, uh, one opinion seems to say we do it to show honor to the Torah. So we want to showcase it, show it to all. This is the Holy Torah. This is, this is our beloved Torah. Um, another approach seems to say it's like part of the reading of the Torah. Like we're showing people, we did read from that part, like this is, uh, we're not just reading a text, we're reading this part of the Torah, so kind of people can really be part of the mitzvah, it's like part of the mitzvah of reading the Torah. And Rav Asher Weiss brings a few like distinctions between these two views. If you say the reason um, on a fast day, can somebody who's not fasting pick up the Torah? So if you say the mitzvah is about showing honor to the Torah, why you pick it up to show honor to the Torah, so anybody fasting or not fasting can show honor to the Torah. But if it's part of the reading of the Torah, like you're showing where you're reading, it's part of the reading of the Torah. So ideally, be only somebody who's fasting can lift up the Torah on a fast day. Another uh, ramification was would be um, if you pick up the Torah. Let's say the Torah is like really heavy. You know, it's like in the beginning. Right now, it's Brachis. Yeah, Brachis. It's it's heavy right now because it's light on the right side, and it's very heavy on the left. So they'd say somebody, uh, right? It's he- it's like so. So that, so you don't have a lefty and it's heavy and and. So can you, like, just to lift up the Torah, can you wrap it to the middle and then lift it? Or do you have to specifically show the parsha you're reading? You're reading Breshi, Noah, Lech Lecha. If the mitzvah is all about, it's part of the reading of the Torah, then you have to open up specifically to that part. You can't open up to the middle. But if it's about showing honor to the Torah, you can really pick up the Torah at any part and really lift it up and show honor to the Torah. So those are some distinctions, like some ramifications between, um, like, the two opinions. Ideally, we try to lift it up uh, at this place where you're reading. But and and, it's, and if if you can't, it's heavy. You can do it. You can go by the opinion that says it's about showing honor to the Torah. So you try to accommodate both. But really, the bottom line is it's uh, the bottom line is as long as you have honor for the Torah, uh, then it's good. Yeah.